Welcome engineers! My name is Travis IQ, and today we're going to talk about Bernie Doodles. A magic, majestic breed, a common... No. No. We're talking about physical and logical addressing. Yeah, there we go. Physical and logical addressing. This is a very important component of our network infrastructure, and as a side note, a, a component of cybersecurity. I saw a really interesting discussion the other day where they were talking about um, how important networking and network infrastructure is to cybersecurity. Um, I know we focused on some network topics too at some point, but um, I just wanted to reiterate right that um, networking in and of itself is actually a really important component to both like offensive cybersecurity, if you were to be a, like a pen tester and pivoting in a network, as well as as defensive cybersecurity and understanding uh, posture, right? So we should understand uh, the major components of networking as a, as a fundamental principle of cybersecurity as well, right? And that being said, two of those components are physical and logical addressing. Physical addressing, sometimes we will call this a burned in address. also known as a media access control address or a MAC address. This is a 48-bit address expressed in hex. You'll often see these expressed like this, F5, C8, B, B, E, E, 0, 1, 2, 4, something like this, right? This is a physical address uh, comprised of the first 24 bits being OUI, organizationally unique identifier. This is set by the vendor. So if you're looking at, let's say, like packet captures, PCAPs from like Wireshark or something like this, most of the time a packet capture utility like Wireshark will actually pull out the OUI and give you some vendor information, right? Um, something like uh, Asus for like an Asus motherboard and the NIC associated, um, Ubiquity for Ubiquity networking equipment, Cisco, Juniper, Palo Alto, right? The first 24 bits are going to be associated with that vendor, and the last 24 bits are going to be a serialization. Basically, right, going one, two, all the way up to, right, two to the 24th, which is the number of unique IDs that you can make there. This is expressed in hex, so each one of these characters is representative of four bits. That's what hexadecimal is. And so if we do the math, four times two is eight, and eight, and eight, eight and eight is 16, and eight is 24. So this is my 24 bit OUI, and eight, and eight, and eight is 16 and 24, this is the 24 bits of serialization, and this equals the 48 bits of a physical address. This is associated with each network interface card, each gigabit ethernet interface, each fast ethernet interface, right? Each SFP port with an, with an ethernet interface um, on your network. This is important. These are locally significant. locally significant. That means that the MAC address of a PC on the other side of the internet, right, in Germany somewhere, some German server that you're connected to looking for some information or something like this on some interesting, unique piece of hardware or something like that, right, that server MAC is irrelevant to you and you will never see it because routers that are forwarding the traffic de-encapsulate and re-encapsulate that traffic with their MAC addresses. Again, these are some components of um, networking and packet analysis that we'll probably go into at another time, but that's, that's one of the reasons why MAC addressing is not significant to you outside of your local subnet, right? And by locally, I mean on your network and subnet. Okay. This is going to conclude part one of our physical versus logical addressing discussion. Part two will be to follow next week. Uh, as is always the case, engineer, break stuff, and have fun. And if you found this video interesting, like and subscribe. You'll see the second half next week. Let's do it.